I can guarantee you this, we all want to make it, but we probably don't know how. And that's what we are trying to do here at MUNO by speaking to the people who have and who know how. And we're bringing the experts right to your screen. Welcome to a word from the wise. Word to the wise, I'm a G, you don't know me. I just tripled last month in this whole week. Double time, 06 and an old G. Shorty kissing on my neck, says she know me. It's no surprise that I'm black. Hello. What? I'm black. <laughs> so, I mean, if my work is an extension of myself, yeah. surely um, I'm making paintings of black people. Right. Um, and because our stories are not too different. Mm. Um, there's even a term like Johnny went to Joburg or yeah. what touched Jimmy? Jim goes to Jim goes to, Jim Jim goes to Joburg. You know, most people can relate to that. Um, even, I mean, People who found interest in the work are in, even in Africa, like Nigeria, um, Ghana, because there is a sense of we are one. Yeah. And um, so if I could speak to my audience, or rather if I could say who my audience is rather, it's just a normal day-to-day -day person. Mm -hmm. Not someone who had to study fine art to understand what it is. Yeah. Not, not someone who went to school and somehow have to strive to be this person in the painting. It's a, it's a normal person. Um, of course, they've also found interest, um, they've been interest with um, even people who are not black mm -hmm. because I, I think there's a, a beautiful story around um, uh, paintings and history and representation. So, and, and if you go back to history, in most paintings, you would never find a black person. Um, maybe one or two, and if so, they're probably serving. Expropriated America. into exactly. a white um, context. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And because in the 1960s or even uh, before that, the, the, the what you call this, um, the gaze was a westernized gaze, right? Mm -hmm. So the people who were able to afford those paintings are people who are wealthy and rich. So, yeah, so it's, it's layers and layers um, of meaning and who the work could be for and who the viewer is. But also, I think it's important for black people to own um, the, the blackness, if I could say, and say, yes, I am black, I'm making paintings for black people. Yeah. Or, and, and, and then what, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, it could be a racial thing, not so much, it depends how you want to uh, look at it. Um, but I think most importantly, it's about representation and being taking ownership of rep representing black people. Yeah. I certainly learned so much from this speaker and I can't wait to see it all put together. I'm sure you cannot wait too. And so tomorrow is where we'll have the full interview. Join us then. Yeah.